Owen Cheers is just as beers here. My tummy is roaring like Katy Perry. Anyways, I'm going to get some food in me in a few seconds, but first I need to do this commentary very quick. But, um, I have only recently hit 200 subs, over 200 subs at this point. So, huge thank you for every single one of you who has stayed subbed for such a long time, or for those of you who have only just just subbed. I love you equal, equally as much, or maybe even the people that have stayed subbed for a long time. Maybe I even love you more. Jerry is still out on that, but anyways, I never really expected this to happen because I didn't really consider myself good enough of a commentator to like en entertain such a big audience. Like 200 people is really like crazy for me. I never really expected me to be able to do that, but I'm very excited for this opportunity that you guys have given me, and thanks to all the support that you guys have been showing in likes in comments, in everything that you do, um, that sort of keeps me going and that's really what you guys need to understand, like if you really enjoy, it doesn't even have to be me, if you enjoy certain YouTubers, then definitely consider dropping likes because that is what keeps them going, that's what keeps me going and the reason why I sometimes get demotivated if people don't really like my videos too much, um, then I sort of think, well maybe, maybe I should change something up, that's like the dynamic that YouTubers really have, like if they get a lot of feedback, they will just, you know, keep putting out better and better content for you, that, that keeps them motivated, that's just how it works, but um, you guys need to understand, you guys are a big part of YouTube channels, you may or may not realize that as much, but it's definitely the truth, like subs are what, you know, channels are based based upon, and a lot of people forget that, a lot of YouTubers even forget that that subs are pretty much the most important thing about a YouTube channel and that's what I realized so definitely a huge thank you for you guys and as you guys know I'm a busy son of a gun and I tend to get extremely busy I do so many things so many different stuff and I really like it that way but sometimes I can really enjoy some me time some time for myself some time that I really need to like chill on my own and I don't know if you guys can relate to that but it doesn't really matter like even if I go out for five days with my best friends like my absolute best friends that I can can just not get enough of of you know hanging out with even if I hang out with these people sometimes I really just need some time for myself it hasn't you know it has nothing to do with how they are or how I am it's not that I'm a social anthem pretty much the opposite I really enjoy human contact um, a lot um, but uh, me time is just so important for me to sometimes regenerate sort of get time for myself because a lot of people spend a lot of time doing stuff that other people think you should do and I think that's like that is good in a way because that that keeps real relationships flowing in a certain way but uh, I think it's equally important of investing in yourself and I think a lot of people forget that and uh, that's something that I really just want to uh, invest some time in now another, th another reason why I sometimes get very in a non uploading state is because my I don't I didn't actually tell my parents that I still do this. They know that I still play video games and all that kind of stuff, but they don't really support that at all. Like they don't see the value of it. They don't see how much I've gained from all of that. They don't see the support I've gained from all of that, all the confidence that I got from all of that. They don't see that. They only see a kid playing video games when he could be studying or when he could be going out with friends. That's all they see. And I think that's maybe a lot of parents out there are in this sort of mental state where they don't really see the value of video gaming and for me it's pretty much like going out is social but playing video games isn't necessarily a non-social thing to do like it's pretty much the opposite for me I play video games because I like to get connected with people and because I just like playing video games that's what I do I play a lot of multiplayer and um, my parents don't understand that and that's really the reason I don't like to do commentaries when they are in the home just for them like bashing in and being like oh are you doing that again like you could be studying you could be doing this and they're very non-supportive about it like the only one that supports that is my legitimate dad I have step parents but um, I definitely love the kid for his support like unconditional support from my dad whatever I do like he was like oh do you want to be a commentator in life and I was like no nah, but I enjoy doing it so he was like oh that's cool you gotta do what you gotta do if you want to keep doing it then you know why not um, there's even been a time, and I'm not ashamed to admit this, that there's been a time when me and my me and my dad played uh, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. That was a game that we both were so in love with. We definitely enjoyed playing that game a lot, and um, we sometimes spend days like just you know grinding that game out. We both we we finished the game together, and that was such a great time. Um, you know, from all the things that we did outside of that, like gaming was such an I don't know, it was so fun doing, and I never had that with my mom or my stepdad, because they never really, again, as I said, they never really saw the the inherent value that it can have for people, like, I think the biggest things that I got from commentating is, I think, number one, friendship, and number two, confidence in uh, my skills on any level, and, um, 
Yeah, that's what they don't understand. So that's really the reason why I sometimes don't do commentaries because there's people at home and I don't really like doing commentaries when they can just bash in and be like, oh, what the hell are you doing, kid? I don't really like that and that's really the reason why I don't uh, sometimes um, upload. That's not always, but I think like one in ten times that is definitely the case when I just don't want my parents, you know, when they are around, I just don't want them to hear me. It's not that I'm ashamed, but uh, I think I might... Uh, tell them about it in the future but thank you guys for watching see you later thank you for the continued support 200 subs love you guys see you later bye